This morning we're getting into the fall spirit with some Michigan made products from Michigan with loves. Franklin DeHannis has more. Check it out. We always love showing products that are Michigan made and today we have Franklin DeHannis with from Michigan with love. Good morning Franklin. How you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Wonderful. I'm excited to talk about these Michigan made products. Let's first start yeah. with the scarves of Westwood. These are absolutely gorgeous. And you with winter coming up, you're going to need some scarves. You really and they're all uh, handmade. They're all one of a kind. There's not two alike. And the company was started in 2012 by two sisters, uh, Nan Bagola and Susie McCusker. And that's in Canton, Michigan, way down in the bottom uh, part of the state. And um, they use beads and and ribbons and yarns and all kinds of wonderful things to create these scarves and women love them. Frankly, it's so cool. They use different uh, materials, you know, with the yarn, the ribbons, mm -hmm. the beads. Are these, is it one size fits all or are they different sizes? No, there's two sizes, one for a longer one, if you want kind of a more dramatic effect. And if you really just want to keep your neck, you know, warm, because these do get warm. Uh, there's a smaller size. They're both really beautiful. And um, they can be found, uh, you get them basically on Facebook. And these scarves have been actually sold worldwide from these two sisters. And they go really well. They're just, they're just beautiful accoutrements for whatever you're wearing. I love my coffee. I also love an adult beverage. Okay. And this is something that I definitely want to enjoy on, you know, a Saturday morning or something. Tell me about these pumpkin spiced coffee um, with distilled spirits in them. There's vodka and some, some brands actually have tequila in them. Yeah, there are. There's there's a bunch of different flavors. And uh, Cask and Kettle has been making these for a while now. And they just came out with their new pumpkin spice, which is perfect because, yeah. well, People are talking about, and you know, not just for a Halloween time, but also into Thanksgiving, like for actually Thanksgiving Day. And you basically take these little pods, you can see them there, and you put them in a Keurig style machine and out comes a hard coffee with actual uh, alcohol in the coffee. And it's really good. You see, I finished this one off with some whipped cream. You can use regular cream, cinnamon sticks, however you want to finish them off. And it tastes, according to my wife, it tastes just like a pumpkin pie. It's so good. But if you don't have a Keurig, because I don't, and I wanted to see mm -hmm. if I could still use it, you can actually just use a kettle um, a kettle, and open it up, pour it right in. It works yep. the same. Another thing that I really love and I'm excited to talk about is some smoky Michigan barbecue sauce. Tell me about mm -hmm. this. These are great sauces. Um, we've tried them. They, they got a really good flavor to them. The company was started in 2019 in Chelsea, Michigan, and it's a woman-owned country uh, company, which is great. And uh, they make a variety of sauces, including a Michigan cherry, a whiskey sauce, a house sauce, a, a, another one. They make some really good seasonings, and they have this gift box. This is this is a perfect gift for someone. Uh, if, if you know someone who likes to cook, they're just little bottles with like a cork top in them. They're really cool, and they make popcorn seasonings also which my favorite is cheddar cheese you can't go wrong with cheddar and these this is a great product love a good gift box especially with all the holidays coming up and you have a foodie in your family i mean i can't think of anything better mm -hmm. to get them than you know some popcorn seasoning and some different sauces and everything well i will put all the links on our website um and attach this video as well so people can find all these wonderful michigan made products franklin thank you so much for joining me today you're welcome see you next month it's always so fun talking with Franklin, and we actually have some of the pumpkin spice with distilled vodka. It's We're very just take a sip. the the smell of it is, it is it's taking over the studio. Hundred mm -hmm. percent. It smells like cinnamon, pumpkin spice, and you can definitely smell the vodka a little bit. Yeah. It smells it's strong. strong. Okay, I'm gonna take one small sip, you guys. We're not going crazy. Okay, I you can taste, taste the, the alcohol. Bit. Vodka straight up. Wait, yeah. it does taste. Not, I don't know that it's for me. You do taste the pumpkin spice though I in there. I don't. I do. No, it's like the first nothing. taste. No? I taste nothing. Do you I like been... pumpkin spice? I hate pumpkin spice. <laughs> okay, okay. I don't like pumpkin spice either. I'm not, you I'm don't not, like it? I'm not typically a fan of okay. pumpkin spice. I do like a, a cider, which they do have these in different mm. flavors. They're coming out with yeah. other seasonal ones um, for like Christmas and stuff. But... I don't hate it. Maybe it needs a little cream. Like some whipped cream yeah. or you know, some, yeah, yeah just something. Another, just something to <clears throat> nice and warm. simmer it down a smidge. Yeah. Very, do, very vodka -ish. <laughs> It leaves the vodka on your tongue, I think. But overall, I mean, if you want to add something to it, I don't think it's like the worst thing to have on like a Saturday morning or, you the know. Worst, yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't think you'll be seeing these in your um, work break rooms anytime soon. Probably they're, not. Not, they're not coming to a Keurig at your workplace. I can guarantee. All right. Well, thanks for sharing it of with course. us. It's always fun to try new things. Yeah.